Okay, so the slightly um, unusual thing that I'm doing here uh, with my ECU is actually using this internal the pressure data as a means to control the ignition timing. So with a normal ECU on most cars, you would find uh, that the ignition timing is purely controlled from a map so that might depend on things like the engine speed and the throttle position as a simple example um, so the ECU here would basically measure or detect the throttle position which is coming in here detect the engine speed which we're receiving information about from the crank sensor through here and then it will set the ignition timing accordingly to some fixed value. So for example maybe 20 degrees before top dead centre at higher engine speeds it uh, might increase that to maybe 25 degrees before top dead centre. So it's kind of a, a bit of guesswork as to what the, the best ignition angle is and what happens is that as the ignition angle moves around the, the angle of peak pressure um, within the engine will also move around. So if I go back to where we have some fired cycles, here we go. So this engine cycle, as you can see, it went, it came from the the ordinary uh, pressure that, that's generated by the piston moving up and down for compression. Um, but on this cycle, we have a combustion event after that. And you can see here the the pressure increases up to a point and then it decreases again. So it's at this point that we're interested in. And for a given engine geometry, um, there'll be an angle. So in this case, we're looking at, uh, let's see, how do I, so about 24 degrees after top dead center, this, this red line is at. So for some given engine, there'll be an angle at which the maximum torque will be produced and we can move this peak point basically by moving the point at which the uh, spark is generated. So in this case um, we have a, an ignition coil signal and so the ignition coil is switched on and then it's switched off and the spark happens at the falling edge when the coil is switched off. So we can pretty safely say that uh, we've got a spark occurring around here and then there's some delay until uh, peak pressure happens. So we get a spark, there's a short delay, and then combustion begins to happen. Combustion increases the pressure up to a point, and then as the piston is moving down, uh, and pressure will decrease. So we're aiming, really, with an ordinary ECU, the ignition timing is adjusted to try and keep this point at some angle. So, as I say, maybe 25 degrees, 23 degrees, 20 degrees, something like that. Um, and with an ordinary ignition system, we'll get something close to that, but probably not exactly. So what my, my uh, kind of additional part of my ECU does is measures the point at which peak pressure occurs, so the angle, in this case um, 23 degrees, 25 degrees now. I've moved the signal I think somehow. Anyway, um, so it measures that point and, and then adjusts the ignition timing to try and keep this point at some fixed angle. So I might be able to set that I want the point of peak pressure to occur at 20 degrees or 25 degrees or 30 degrees. And my ECU will be able to adjust the ignition timing to maintain that. And that's what this uh, device here does. So it's not connected up at the moment, but what it would do is connect to this box, which is in turn connected to the optical encoder on the engine. And this optical encoder sends pulses through this wire oops, and into this box, which then sends those pulses into this microcontroller. And every time it receives a pulse, 
it records uh, the pressure. So it won't be quite as good as what we're seeing here, but we might get a, record, uh, a pressure point here, and then 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 here. And what this microcontroller is doing is trying to work out where we get that maxim maximum pressure occur. And then once it finds the maximum pressure within the cycle, it then transmits it via a serial connection back to the ECU here and the ECU compares the angle that we found with the angle that we wish to set so this one, point of peak pressure in this case it's 20 degrees and if it's, uh, if it's too much then it will adjust the ignition angle accordingly and vice versa so in this case we might say well peak pressure has occurred at 25 degrees um, but we wanted it at 20 therefore move the ignition uh, angle back by 5 degrees and so the idea behind that is that we manage to maintain the ignition timing for maximum torque at all times.